Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Warhammer Legends collection. Hopefully this is issue 41 and 42. A bit delayed, I don't know what's going on. Uh, hopefully it's not 43 and 44, um, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, um, I was expecting this probably a couple of weeks ago or so. So, oh, there's 41. And there's 42. So yes, we, we do have them. Um, because it's been uh, over a month since we, we got the, the last two. Um, typically you get them kind of like towards the, the start of the month and then you pay at the end. But recently I've just paid for these two and I've just now got them. The thing is with Hatchet Park Works, well, what I found with this collection anyway is um, sometimes you might have to wait a week or two uh, after you think that they will arrive. But anyway, we've got them, so we haven't got any gaps, which is quite a nice relief. Anyway, so these are the two issues. If you don't know what Warhammer um, 40,000 Legends collection is by Hatchet Partworks, it's a monthly uh, subscription service. Um, don't give you a magazine, they just give you two uh, books every month um, for £20. And I think the subscription service is only available in the UK, South Africa, because I think that's where the call centre is and stuff, and Australia. So it's not open for business in Canada or America or rest of Europe. For those people that have questions regarding the um, Warmer 40,000 Conquest, uh, there's a few other YouTubers that have subscribed to that. I didn't. It was going ahead and now it isn't, but that's normally what Hatchet Park Works do. They normally, they did it with this, for instance. They started this subscription service up uh, as, a, as a tester. Um, they sent me uh, two free books, which had different spines, different artwork. Um, and then all of a sudden they said, we're, we're pulling the service while we get everything sort of ready and it'll probably most likely come back. And I think that's the feeling that um, Conquest may have too, that they'll bring it back and um, then they'll give you issue one and two again and all the magazines and so on. But anyway, enough about me blabbing on. Um, let's have a look. So this is issue 41. Um, Ragnar Blackmane. So this is a Space Wolf one. And my knife really does need to sharpen. Oh dear, that's atrocious. That's quite embarrassing actually. Um, so the spine number is 26 uh, and it looks like it's got a bit of a world eater on it I want to say with a plasma so yeah Ragnar Blackmane by Aaron Dembski Bowden or Bowden uh, this book is quite thin if you can already see um, not many spare pages at the back uh, and it will set you back 163 pages hardback as always uh, and uh, this book was published in 2016 so I'd say less than two years old now so that's pretty good um, as always, in the middle, you get uh, a collection of art. So there's Ragnar Blackmane. There's the uh, timeline, and it takes place in the 41st millennium. The Blood Claws Revealed. Illuminations. That's one of the Space Wars flyers. Um, totally forgotten what it's called. You're going to have to help me out in the comments for that one. Um, there he is again with a wolf. And with Dark Angel. Cadian Trooper. There he is again. Art of Terror. And there you go. And a little bit of uh, an advert for Black Library, of course. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, read the preface. Ragnar Blackmane is a legend of the Space Wolves, the youngest warrior ever to rise to command a great company. As he battles the forces of Abaddon the Despoiler on the war-ravaged world of Cadia, Ragnar remembers the events that brought him to this place and time, and relates two great sagas from his past, each bringing him into conflict with brother space marines from other chapters, the secretive dark angels, and savage flesh terrors. As these tales influence the events of the present, Ragnar comes to realise that his past actions have consequences. Ooh. Issue 42. Uh, Bit, uh, bit thicker. And this is Baneblade. Now, I really, really wanted to get this and I'm so pleased I didn't buy it, in a way. Even though I do like Guy Haley's uh, style. Um, so Baneblade, uh, 
This was in hardback, um, I think, I want to say 16 or 18 pounds. It's a fair bit of money. So just in this month alone, you've saved six or eight pounds just by getting uh, uh, this collection, which is great because um, as much as I do like having the Horace Heresy books in hardback, I don't think that they should have been included in the collection. It's Warmer 40,000 Legends collection, and I think it should only have been um, Warmer 40,000 novels. I'm adamant for that now because there's a few repeats um, that I've got in the Horace Heresy collection. But anyway, nonetheless, it's great that we've got Bane Blade in uh, hardback uh, with this collection. Um, so this is issue number 42, and on the spine it says uh, number 48. Um, so this book was first published, I want to say 2016, but it could have been... No. Wow. It's actually published in 2011. I swear it was um, not that long ago. Maybe, maybe that was just a revival of the book. Um, because it was Bane Blade and Shadow Sword um, that Guy Haley did. Hmm, I swear it was uh, recent. Anyway, uh, so 2011, and then page-wise, yeah, you get a fair few, fair few uh, spare pages there. And the book will say about 344 pages. Um, again, uh, like all of them, you got artwork in the in the middle. So there's a Bane Blade true super heavy tank with its Bane Blade cannon and a Demolisher cannon on top of that as well. Um, and then the Laz cannons and the heavy bolters. And the Bane Blade was actually a first model that got me into Forge World. Um, it was the first Forge World model I bought. I've still got the model and I think it cost me about £150 or so. A huge amount of money. And this was before they even made the uh, Lucius Pattern Warhound Titan. Um, so without that first Bane Blade, uh, I would never have um, started buying things from Forge World, of which I've spent, you know, more money than all the Games Workshop products, I'd have to say. So in the timeline, it takes place in the 41st millennium. Uh, the engine sea is revealed. A nice silhouette there of the Bane Blade. Imperial Guard versus Orcs. That's a lovely picture there. I want to say that's the Shadow Sword. You've got some Terminators too. You've got, looks like an Imperial Guard with a Laz Cannon or something, maybe an Auto Cannon. You've got an old school Land Speeder there, I think. Got to be. Then you've got one of those big, oh, I always forget their name. The big Imperial Fortress type tanks, um, like a, a bread box. Um, I've forgotten the name, you're going to have to put it in the comments. I think it's a Leviathan, but could be completely wrong. Um, Sacred Blade Steel Legion. I love these cutout um, diagrams or, or artworks um, where you get to see the inner workings of the tank. As you can see, it's got a, a few floors. So you've got this, this upper floor, and then you've got uh, this, this main floor, and then you've got a lower kind of deck. Um, and the lower deck you've got the heavy bolters, then you've got escape hatches and all kinds of things going on. So cool. Ah, oh, wow, look at that. John Blanche artwork there. You've got uh, Imperator Titan, a Reaver, I think that's a Reaver. Then you've got a uh, Bane Blade at the front there. And you've got some Orc Stompers and a gargantuan gargan or whatever it is huge thing nice uh, computer artwork there some more a Lehman Ross and then a super heavy there you go so that's all the artwork there um, for this book so let's read the uh, preface Bane Blade by Guy Haley by the blessing of the Omnissiah was the Mars Triumphant born. From the forges of the Adeptus Mechanicus, the mighty Baneblade super heavy battle tank comes to bring death and destruction to the foes of the Imperium. During a bitter war against the Orcs in the Kalidar system, Lieutenant Low Bannock joins the crew of the Venerable Machine and as part of the 7th Paragonian Tank Company, he witnesses combat from within one of the Imperial Guard's mightiest war machines. But even as Bannock's own dark past threatens to undo him, Mars Triumphant 
may have met its match in the form of a terrifying new foe. Ooh, there you go. So um, that's Bane Blade by Guy Haley, and uh, Bragnar Blackmane by Aaron Dembski Bowden. Another kind of Imperial uh, heavy um, release this month. So you've got Space Wolves and, uh, well, Imperial Guard, or, you know, a lot about the Bane Blade there. So that's it for this month's uh, unboxing and first look at the uh, next two issues and the Warhammer 40,000 Legends Collection subscription. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.